Oh, hello. You did that, honey. Boy, girl. Good girl. Look at that. <laughs> Can't believe she had three. I've never done this before. I gave it CPR. I'm gonna hate myself if she lays on them. I saw you pushing. I think you're having a baby. You having a baby? I think you are. Good morning. This is what I was hoping for. It's exactly 50 hours from when I induced this you on Monday. Today's Wednesday. And I have a little nosy coming out. Carissa said the you was just up. So we have a fighting chance to save the babies and save mom. But there's just a nose. I usually assist if there's a nose nose only and no feet so I'm gonna just glove up here and help get this get these babies out of her because I want this mama up okay I just need a footy okay hi little baby oh no problem oh hello you did that honey you did you see the boy? Here you go, monkey. You just wanted those out, didn't you? Oh. Upside down, mama. Out. This way? There. Oh, little monkey. Yeah, that's it. Good girl. She did so good. Boy, girl. Well, we have fed the baby's colostrum. I've made this pen a double wide. And we have had mama up. She walked pretty good, eh? Yep. She walked pretty good. She was very aware of the babies, which is what I worry about when they go down. Um, sometimes they don't know the babies underneath them when they're really weak on their feet. But she actually gingerly, like, laid, purposefully laid down which makes me feel a bit better about this whole situation because I don't like leaving them if uh, mom doesn't like being up on her feet. So we're going to have to keep watching these lambs. I'll have to come out in a couple hours and top them up again if she hasn't gotten up. But they've had about 100 mils each into them. So that'll get them going. That'll keep them warm. We uh, bedded it all up here and they're kind of in behind this bunk which also helps keep them a bit warmer. Mom's got to keep licking them off. Have you got up yet, Mom? I saw you up in the camera. I'm just glad you're not laying on your babies. That's a good mom. So I find the best way to get Mom up is to take the babies away because she doesn't like to stand for me. Good girl. Good girl. You hungry? Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's see your babies. Good walking. Good mama. Oh, this makes me so happy. Don't lay down. Let your babies drink. <sighs> well, at least she's very aware of where her lambs are, which makes me happy. I'm going to grab a bottle, feed these guys again. They're looking awful interested. Yeah. You had a little more than your brother this morning. You might not be hungry yet. Okay, I'll let you. Oh, here comes Mama. Here, little monkey. You go drink out of Mommy. There you go. There you go. Good baby. I'm pretty confident leaving mom now for a couple hours. Uh, and I just keep checking on her in the camera anyway. So every time she gets up, I'm a little nervous, but she's been good. She's been treated again as well, so. Whatever's bugging her, hopefully she turns around. She loves those babies. I thought it was recording, and I wasn't. Thank you, phone. Um, she had a third baby in her, so check it out. Look it. Good mommy. Are you happier now? You just wanted it out? Yeah, it's right here, don't you worry. Yeah. You're pretty skinny now, wow. Holy. You are all baby. Not that I don't trust you, but I know you're used to two. Now you have three. Okay, little miss. You're the smarter one of the two. There you go. Oh, awesome. If I can keep her on her feet. We are golden. Are you eating? You sure are. Look at that. <laughs> well, you deserve that. You worked up an appetite. I think she's going down. Yep. Good girl. Good mom. Can't believe she had three. So my mom proved me wrong. She, uh, she indeed laid on a lamb, or she shifted. I don't think she laid on it, because I've been watching her in the cameras, 
and I was watching her walk around and this little one got mighty close when she laid down and I wonder if it just got its nose under her and she was uh, she shifted her weight and all I saw on the camera were little back legs flailing I'm like get out there so I ran out and it wasn't breathing it was not breathing but its heart was beating still and for the first time ever I've never done this before I gave it CPR and it lived I'm glad the barn is really close to the house hey I was wrapping presents and that's how you thank me I guess the present wasn't for you so granted I'm gonna feed Junior again it's only had 50 mils and uh, it's not looking too spry I guess I'm just on nanny watch today I might put a divider up here and keep the lambs on one side like I'll let them try to nurse and when she lays down I'm just gonna put them in their own pen because I just don't trust her not with three. Two, she was all right. Three, I think she's a little like, mm. So something has happened to this, the third one, the triplet. Something has happened between when it was born and now. It's only been, it hasn't even been an hour. And it can barely hold its head up. I don't, it's just not acting right. Really noodly and it can't stand up. Something's off. So I'm going to put it in the warming box and uh, warm it up because it's acting like it's dying. What are we gonna do with you? Take a temp, see where we're at. Yeah. All right, I've got the uh, heating pad on. We've got it wrapped in towels. I'm just gonna take its temp. Yep, it got cold. Yeah, just got cold on me that fast, wow. So even 50 mil of colostrum was not enough. I gotta get it treated, guys, or we're gonna lose it. Okay, so we got some dextrose in it. I gave it the full dose, because it's a bigger lamb for sure than what I've been used to. I've got the heating pad on, really nice. Some nice dry towels. And it's been a little more responsive than some of the other ones I've had in here, but its eyes are a little, just, Something off. Well guys, it's been about an hour and a half and the lamb does not look great. It's doing kind of the tremors. I'm gonna quickly take a temp here. No, you don't look good at all. No. Still too low. I can't even feed you yet. Okay, well, I'm going to maybe change your blanket. Yeah, I think I will. There you go, monkey. It just might not be right either. I sometimes get a, I sometimes get a lot of flack on how I do this stuff, but sometimes, sometimes I also try to save lambs that actually don't want to be saved and uh, that is hard to translate onto camera uh, but I do try everything in my power to save these lambs sometimes it's it truly is up to the lamb at the end of the day <laughs> Let's go see mom. Hey mom. See you. Good mom. Good girl. Let's see if these guys will. Problem with the little boy is I'm the only one it's drank out of so far. No, not out of me. I'm the only one that's fed it so far. Sometimes monkey see, monkey do though. So we kind of got a little system here. Um, she laid down when she was done nursing. She didn't want to nurse anymore. Only the little girl's drinking. The little boy will not find it, figure it out. And you have a, we have a very short window 
that she stands that she stands for them. So um, I feed the boy while Mama feeds the girl, and then I bring them all. I bring them back here, and she comes and she lays right beside the gate. So it's actually it's actually quite sweet. It's like she knows that she's not stable, and uh, so the lambs lay usually like right here. And so they're good for a while. I'll come back out one more time tonight. It's about five or five thirty right now. I just wanted to check on that lamb. I'll have to come back out and make sure, see if I can tube it later. If, if I can't get its temperature up, there's not a lot else I can do for it. And I can't feed it if it's not above 37 or I'll drown it. I'm praying that between now and like eight, it will, uh, it will regain its body temperature. And you guys are good and I'll give you guys a toppy off you before bed. And then they'll be good till four in the morning when I'll get up and come out. But likely, if mom doesn't get any stronger, we may have to pull these guys, put them on the milk machine. Okay, Jess. Oh, I'm Jack. You got it. Oh, man. You got it. What days are today? You got it. You got it. It is the. You don't need to eat 20 it. 22nd. 22nd. I need that. Can never find them. So the 22nd would be right there. Oh, I thought that's a 23. No worries. I'm dyslexic, okay? We don't have many. Oh, it's a good Why, one. thank you. Okay, I don't mind eating it. Pretty. I'm not too worried I about cannot it. peel so this. Let her marinate. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think it's good. Humble, too. What's this called again? New York. I see you like at the humble. What are these called? New York. <laughs> what are these called? That is me. I think Boston. Sour. Boston sour or New York? Like no, like New York. Why New York sour. Why me? Is it the 23rd now? No, you're putting on the... Okay. You're done? Okay. How are we doing, buddy? How are you doing? Hey? You feel warmer? Hi! <coughs> oh, Lucy. Uh, uh, a bit of a reflex. All right, let's take a temp. Where did I put that right there? You're pretty close. 36 and a half. Want to say hi to the people? You do? Oh, I would say you want a drink. Do you want a drink? Oh, okay. All right, put your back in here for a second. Okay, what's that? Oh, you're drinking. There you go. Keep going. You can do it. What'd you get in ya? Not very much yet. <laughs> do I have to tube ya? I might have to tube it. I don't want to tube you. Okay. I'm going to put you back in here for a sec. I'm going to feed your brother and sister and come back to you. These are a lot of work. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're up! Okay, okay, okay. Mom, you're so good! Alright, we'll go see your mom. Go see your mom. Yeah, go we'll see your mom. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry, buddy. You go on the side. You go on the side. My heart is so full right now. Oh. Okay, buddy. He hasn't found the teeth. Do you want me to feed? Do you want me to feed him for you, honey? Yeah, I think I might. So we got a bit of a moral dilemma. Do I leave mom with the babies? She seems better on her feet. Alert. They're both gonna get on her really good if I leave them overnight, especially the boy. Cause right now he only thinks I'm mom. So I would love to leave them overnight just without me. So when they get hungry, they're gonna look for a nipple. Or will she fall on them? Oh. I'm gonna hate myself if she lays on them. But she's been up for a while. She's up. She's been up for probably 20 minutes or half an hour. 
That's the longest she's ever been up. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to feed that lamb, come back and see if they're still fine, and make a call. I hate this. Mm. Hi. Mm. You're so chatty. Okay, ready? Ready? Mm. All right, try it again. I don't want a tube you. Please drink. Darn it. Oh, you drank like 25 mils. All right, we're gonna have to tube. All right. That one went, went down so good. I think we finally figured this out. Hey. Yeah, I think so. So we got a full bottle into you, didn't we? Like 200 mils. That's pretty good. So that will get her through to the morning. There you go, monkey. There you go. Snug as a bug with Bob the Builder. <laughs> It was Jack's blanket. I am gonna let mom and babies tell me what I should do over the next 10 minutes or so as I go over your comments from today's video. This one's from Brie Ray or Brie Ra. I have actually managed to set the screaming lamb as the ringtone for when my children call me and made them call me yesterday while they were next to me. You made our day. That is epic and I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, my camera apparently has also had a drink tonight besides me. This one's from Sandra L. Uh, anyone else find the highlight of the day is watching the little lambs run and jump while moms are eating. Makes me smile every time. That is why I film it because it's literally the highlight of my day as well. So I'm glad we are the same. Well, and your name's Sandra, so hello. Uh, this one's from Ruth Harris. The lamb antics never get old. Zoomies playing King of the Hill on the mamas, taste testing Christmas trees, and of course the jumping and bouncing. Thanks for sharing all these delightful creatures. Continuing to pray for Jess and a speedy recovery. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, and Jess is actually feeling better today. She was good for most of the day, and tonight she said she was feeling a little bit of pressure again on her chest, but every day is a little improvement, which is amazing. This one's from Robin Brake. The babies love when the mamas are eating. They have so much room to run. It's so cute. It's literally my favorite time of day. Autumn Johnson jumps immediately off Amazon from Christmas shopping to come watch my Sandy fix. You have no idea what you do for most of us. Have a very Merry Christmas and the very best new year. Thank you, Autumn. That is so nice. Only coming from a fellow uh, trying to get on Amazon like three days before Christmas. Loose. Is it time? It's way past her bedtime. Aww. This makes it really hard. <coughs> yeah, this kills me. <coughs> yeah. I think I want you living in the morning and get mommy back on the feet. Over here for tonight. Okay. I'm sorry, Mom. 